In this lesson, I'll look at ways of importing Maya files to other scenes, and also talk about referencing. I've finished out the scene, at least decently enough for this first camera shot. We have the window frames from the previous lessons on modeling, as well as the columns. I've added an exterior deck and boulders that border it. I've also got an overhead trellis, maybe I'll put some louvers in at some point, and a light tight shell. I'll assume to stand inside and look out the windows at a view beyond the rocks. Now I need to bring the eco in. In Maya, we open scenes, and the open dialog allows you to open many kinds of files. Scenes, Maya ASCII files, Maya binaries, and FBXs. In Maya, to bring a scene into another scene, we can use import. The import dialog covers importing Maya scenes into other scenes, importing FBX or OBJ files into other scenes, or other formats. I'll bring the eco in a shirt file in. He came in just fine. Well, okay, decently. He's standing in a wall, but that's fairly easy to fix. I'll zoom in and press 4 to go to a wireframe. And I'll select his root node underneath and hold shift to select the shirt, which is not bound to him yet. The first thing I'll do is go into a front view, focus on the ego by hitting F, and move him up so he's not standing in the floor. Notice that I've selected the root node and I'm moving him around like a statue. Then I'll pull him over into the scene and back up away from the windows. He's ready to animate. Right now he's staring out the windows in his shirt and ready for the first animation. As an alternate, we can look into containers and assets, and we have some options in here. Under assets, we can create assets with transforms and edit them. Basically what containers let you do are take scenes or parts of a scene, encapsulate them in a container, bring that container into a new scene which references the existing one. Changes made in the existing scene will reflect in the new one as well. What we may want to do is bring something like the scene around the eco. So we can't touch the environment, but we can animate him in that particular camera. I'll try this again. I'll reload the eco in a shirt file. And then I'll reference around him the entire interior. Under File, I'll choose Create Reference. In the Create Reference dialog, I'll hit Reference, and I'll make sure that my general options are locked, so I can't touch it. I'll go and I'll pick the interior. It's referenced in, and it's there, but because I've chosen lock, all the transforms are locked. I could actually freeze it on display layers or render layers, or make it a template or a reference in those layer structures, and really not be able to affect anything here. As it is, I can select objects, but I have no option to move, rotate, or scale them. Also, their materials reflect from the other scene, as do lights. This will help immensely. One of the things we see in a production environment is that we may have multiple people doing multiple things on files that need to work together. Riggers may be working on a character while the environment artists are preparing the environment and assets. In the meantime, the animators may have a rough character that they'll start animating with, fully expecting to be able to transfer the animation onto that rig when it's done, and have the environment update around the character as the environment artists finish. This avoids the need to wait for every step to be done before proceeding, and allows you to work in tandem under the tight deadlines you're going to face.